there somewhere, Eden? It all sounds so incredible. Kirk, a killer? Look, just so you know, I've never lied to you, and I'm not about to start now. There was no affair. I know what I heard. I told you it was a tape made for Kirk. I want to believe you. And do. It's the truth. I was so afraid that I'd lost you. The tape was a dangerous idea in more ways than one. It just told me. I will never give you reason to doubt me again. You have my word. I believe you. You know I'd never deliberately hurt you. Never. I'm leaving. I'm going to be late. Oh, really? For what? A plane? A romantic odyssey on a train or something like that? What is Cruz's plan for the two of you this time, huh? I don't think I really need to discuss this with you. Oh, no, of course not. I'm just your husband. I've hurt you. That's why I'm leaving. My considerate wife. What am I supposed to tell Cece? I left him a note explaining everything. Well, what am I supposed to tell everyone else when word gets out that my wife has left me? I'm sorry, Kirk. You're sorry? Oh, well, I can handle it much better now, thank you. But you know what I cannot handle is you sleeping with Cruz. You making love to Cruz. Is he really that good? Is it really worth all the pain that you've caused me and Santana. You know, I think we're alone here. I don't recall seeing any other cars out front when I drove up, you know? It's just us. You should get out of my way. Mm -hmm. No, you are not leaving. I don't give a damn what you want to do. I loved you so much. I took care of you. And for what? For him? It is not over between us. I am not going to let it be over. I did not recover from a heart operation just so you could leave me. That's not going to happen. Do you understand that? It is not going to happen. Ah. Oh. No, wait. Wait, Eden. It's not going to happen. I love you. You're mine. <sighs> No, no, forget the hypnotist. I'd rather talk to Eden again and try to jog my memory that way. Oh, I'd love to accommodate you, Jeannie, but it's not possible right now since Eden is out of town. Hello. Hi, uh, Cruz, it's me. I just wanted to let you know that Cece's going to be looking for you. Hold on a second. Garth, will you take Mrs. Capwell upstairs with the timing? I want to take this call in private. What's this about Cece? Eden left a note saying that he should ask you why she left town. Now Cece thinks that you and Eden are having an affair. Oh. Well, I guess I'll have to set him straight then. Well, are you going to tell him everything about Kirk and everything? Yeah, I think it's time Mr. Senior the truth about his son-in-law anyway. Hey, do you think he'll believe you? Find out soon enough. I'll be there. Thanks, Santana. Well, we will as soon as Gina admits that he is behind the whole thing, and I think she's about to blow his cover any time now. There are other indications, too. Some wiring that was found at the boathouse after the crime has been traced to Kirk. And not only that, he came up with some phony excuse, uh, some uh, alibi with a jeweler up in Ojai just to cover his tracks and out of the attempt. We know all about it. I can't believe it. We thought if we could make him suspicious enough, maybe he'd try it again and we'd have him. Aren't you taking a terrible risk? Yeah. We couldn't see a better way to flush him out. We figured it's better than standing around doing nothing and waiting for him to try to hurt Eden again at his own convenience. Kirk Cranston. I was feeling sorry for him because of you and Eden. Well, you know what they say about appearances. I would never do such a thing to my wife, Mr. C. Kirk, murder.
Well, if he is, I want to know, and I want to know now, because I don't want him around for another second. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to keep your feelings about him to yourself for the time being and not let him know that we're on to any of this. What are you talking about? I'm supposed to do nothing? You could talk to Gina. We've been trying to get it out of her. Maybe you'd have better luck. Maybe. Maybe she just needs an incentive. Eden already tried using Brandon. She said she'd fix it so Gina could get him back, but Gina didn't bite. Gina knows Eden doesn't really have the power. Coming from me, it'd probably be different. Oh, I gotta tell you, I'm not comfortable at all with that idea. I mean, Brandon finally gets used to Santana and me as his parents, and now we're gonna turn him over to Gina again? I don't think so. Cruz, it is just going to be a ploy just to get her to talk. You think she'd trust you on that? She knows I've always been the final arbiter of Brandon's custody. I think I can get her to believe that I could get the boy back to her. I guess we'll have to go with that. If you're ready, I'll take you to her. I'm not going to waste time with accusations, Gina. What do you mean, accusations? I realize you're holding back what you know. So what will persuade you to drop this pretense? There is no pretense. You listen to me. There are other lives at stake besides yours. There is a murderer out there, a man who might likely kill again. You have the power to identify him. Now, you're going to let that man go free? I'm remembering more and more every day. Didn't Cruz tell you that? I might be able to remember the murderer someday. That's wonderful. How much have you remembered so far? I remember marrying you and living in your mansion with you. And I remember the day you threw me out and you took my son away from me. Well, maybe I can uh, make that up to you. What do you mean? Maybe I can find a way to get Brandon back for you. How can you do that? You've given Cruz and Santana permanent custody, haven't you? Jeannie, you forget I have some influence in the state. All I have to do is talk to some of the judges, ask them to reverse the decision they made in haste. Hmm? Would you really do that? If you tell me who your accomplice was. What accomplice? Who was involved with you in trying to murder Eden? Wait a minute. There wasn't anybody. I, I mean, I had nobody, no accomplice. I, I was a victim just like Eden. Oh, then you do remember that day in the boathouse. I, I remember bits and pieces, flashes of things. I remember warning Eden that there was somebody out there to kill us both. Well, if you can remember who that person was and that person is apprehended and prosecuted, then uh, I will see to it that you get Brandon back. They even have a letter of agreement to that effect. Read it. Wait a minute. I don't know about this accomplice stuff. I don't want to get dragged Gina, into that. Gina, you cooperate. I'll do everything I can to see that you're not prosecuted. I really do want to help. Think about it, huh? Think about what it'll be like to have you sometime. Who knows? Maybe your memory will come back in good working order. I'll keep in touch. Just tell us now, where did you think that man was standing? He was up there. Who was he? Gina, who was he? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean, I didn't get a good look at his face. I couldn't see him clearly. I only heard what he said. Which was what exactly? He said that if I didn't kill Eden, he was going to kill us both. That's what she said. He's trying to kill us both. Why didn't you go to the police when you realized he was plotting Eden's death? Because he said he'd hurt my son if I told anyone. Uh-huh. And why did he want to kill you? Gina, tell them what you told me. He said he hated Eden. Because she'd betrayed him. Because she'd been cheating on him. Would you be willing to sign a statement to that effect? If we put that together with the evidence we already have, I think we got him. Well, else? That I remember. He said that... Eden was cheating him out of some money. Some money that he was getting for blackmailing her for something that she did. Did anything like that go on? Yes. I got some blackmail notes this past winter from someone who claimed they'd seen me disconnect Daddy's life support systems. So God, why didn't you tell me? I couldn't tell you, Daddy. Kirk paid him some money and he left us alone. 
Did you get a look at this guy? No, only Kirk did. That figures. Do you remember how he looked? I remember now. He was about six feet tall, maybe 200 pounds, and a big bushy beard. He had a big bushy beard. This is all coming back to you just now, huh? That's right. What you must have gone through. If we ever get this guy, I swear to Daddy, you, I'll... it's okay. I am going to get some air, if you'll excuse me. I think I will, too. No, no, I think you won't. You know, I'm not buying any of this. I think you and Kirk probably dreamed up this blackmailing scheme between the two of you. I just remembered it right now. You're crazy. And while we're on the subject of how CeCe's life support system got disconnected, maybe I should talk to you again about that night, too, huh? I don't see what good it'll do. I can't remember what I did last week, let alone last winter. Sure, you keep saying, but somehow I doubt it. Cruz, look, can't we just stop with this? We don't need to go into all this right now. Gina saved my life. We have to keep that, remembering that. That is beside the point, I think. I'd like to get some straight answers around here for a change. I got a very a strong feeling that you have a very selective memory. Cruz, could you leave Gina and I alone for a few minutes? Why, Eden? I would like to talk to her in private, please. Fine. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, miss, I, I'm trying so hard to remember things, and everybody around me seems to think I'm lying. You believe me, don't you? No. Gina, I know you're lying, but I also know why. I think I know more than anybody how frightening Kirk can be. And I know that you're scared to talk because I was that exact same way for a very long time. Has Kirk really threatened Brandon? But Gina, no one can prove that Kirk is the one that tried to kill us. No one can do that. Don't you see that we're still in danger now with him roaming around free? Look, I can't make you talk. But when you do decide to talk, I want you to know that I'm here and I'm going to help you. Help me? What do you mean? I'm going to help you be safe. I'm going to help you get any charges that are brought up against you dropped i'll try to help you get your son back but i promise you you'll be safe i promise that i can't believe what you're saying gina gina the hell with it she's not going to tell us anything anyway and if i caught up with her i'd probably just wring her neck Why didn't you ever tell me about this blackmailing thing? Because it was just more overwhelming proof that I was the one who disconnected Daddy's life support systems. I couldn't come to you. And what happened? Kirk supposedly paid the guy off. Matter of fact, I think I still have that blackmail note. You know, I remember it was sort of similar to the one that I had sent to me that brought me here when Gina and I were here. I want to see that note. It's at the house. All right, I'll drive you back there before I take you back to the cliff house. You know, even I wouldn't be a bit surprised if Kirk blackmailed you all by himself. It's possible. Makes sense. He probably wanted to keep you believing that you were responsible for CeCe nearly dying. Figured if he kept the pressure on, he could keep you under his thumb. And it worked. I think those months were the worst months of my life. Filled with guilt and fear. It kept me from you. It made me feel like, how could you love me after I did what I did? What you didn't do, you mean? I don't think you know how much I hate him. I hate him so much for what he did to me. What he did to us. Even I promise you, he's not going to hurt you anymore. We don't have any proof. And for all we know, we could be wrong. We're not wrong. 
And I'm telling you, one way or another, he's going to pay for what he's done. Hey, wait a minute. Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. Just came to pick up a few things. I would like to talk to you. About what? Excuse me. I'd like to talk to you. Wait, hey, hey. Don't you think it'd be a good idea if you knocked before you came barging into people's houses? Oh, I'm terribly sorry if I've upset you, Kirk. Uh, I wouldn't have bothered if it weren't important. Fine, what do you want? I need a description from you of the man Eden says was blackmailing her this winter. Oh, I see. Well, I hadn't realized that my wife had confided in you about that matter. But then again, I guess there's a lot of things about Eden that she doesn't tell me, huh? I wouldn't know about that, Kirk. But I do need that description, if you don't mind. Well, gee, Cruz, you know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to help you out with that one. It was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Somehow I knew you were going to say that. But that's okay, Kirk, because I'm going to nail you anyway, man. And it's going to be soon. Really? For what? Seen Brandon and Gina? No, what? Well, they disappeared. I better look upstairs. Well, wait a second. I have that, um, that blackmail note. Where did I put it? Here it is. Great, I'll have forensics check it out. Hello? Um, you yeah, know, I hooked up on my Wait. head. I... It's Gina. Hello? Cruz, I have to talk to you right away. Where are you, Gina? I'm at the Orient Express. I have Brandon with me. Can you come now? I'll be right there. She's waiting for me at the Orient Express. She's got Brandon. Well, go. Maybe she's ready to talk. Why don't you come with? I don't like you here with Kirk. No, no. Look, if everyone's gone, then Kirk's going to get suspicious. I'll stay here. Daddy's here. I'll be fine. I have my beeper. All right, but if anything comes up, even the slightest hint of something you. wrong, come you... Come on. Yeah. Now, if, if she said anything, you call me, because I'm really anxious to hear what yeah, she's yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be careful. I will. You too. Bye. Sunday. You okay? Yeah. You know, you should have let somebody know before you went running off like that, man. You know, we were worried about you. My mom took me. Well, I know, but you, you could have told Mr. C. You should have told me. I'm sorry. Well, that's cool. Where is your mama now, anyway? I don't know. She didn't even say where she was going? She just said to stay with you and keep away from Uncle Kurt. Gina, she left. No, actually, I was looking for you. I heard from Cece that uh, Gina remembered that it was the blackmailer who tried to kill you. Yes. Apparently, it's the same man. It's a pity we didn't know what he was capable of back then. Yeah, well, if I had only suspected. Well, it's all over now. I just hope Cruz catches him. Whoever he is. Eden, Eden. Uh, have you had a chance to do any thinking about us since the other night? Yes, I have. I love you. I can't seem to stop that. Although sometimes I think it would be better for both of us if I could. I can't bear the way things are between us right now, Eden. You don't have to feel that way for long. Yes, Kirk, have you heard from Kelly or had any messages for me? <clears throat> no, I'm sorry, uh, none that I know. Well, of. could you check on the table by the telephone, please? This is very important. Look, I don't... Yeah, yeah, there was uh, an envelope that I... Uh, wait, wait, Eden! An envelope? Yeah, Dylan picked it up earlier today. Eden! Let's see. Look, um... 
Kelly isn't here, all right? So I no, no, that's it. all right. I'll, I'll wait here. Thanks. Huh? All right, just a second, please. James, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Has, has Mrs. Capwell come back yet? I haven't seen her, sir. But you have a phone call. Oh, okay, thanks. We keep an eye on Brandon, please? Surely. Thank you. Hello? Oh, good, they found you. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just wanted to call and see what Gina had to say. Well, Gina's not here. Brandon's okay, but she's disappeared somewhere. Oh, I doubt if she'd just go off, leaving Brandon there. Oh, I hear traffic in the background. Are you in the road or something? Um, yeah. I, I just had to get out of the house. I mean, Kirk was there, and... I mean, there were other people there, but he was just looking at me strangely, and I had to leave. Well, keep going, will you? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to the place we arranged on. Great. You'll call when you get there? Yeah. Oh, Chris. Don't get mad at me, but... I'm scared. And I miss you. Oh, no, darling, don't be scared. Everything's gonna be okay. Kirk will make a mistake, or Gina will talk, and... We'll nail him. You'll be safe. Maybe, I don't know. No. Then you'll be okay. Maybe. Look, don't start talking negative. Look, I don't know what to do, okay? I just know that he's after me. I know he's gonna get me sooner or later. No, he's, he's not. I'm not gonna let him get you. Don't lose faith in that. I'm not. <sighs> don't, no, Buds, even please just believe me when I tell you you will be safe from now on. Will I? <laughs> 